on, I swear. So one thing Ben does know a lot about, because he's one of the only ones that own one here, is GoPro. So they, they yeah. released a GoPro <laughs> leaked for a, yeah, a picture of the GoPro Hero 6. And I think me and uh, Mazinga over here had the same conversation about this about half a dozen times. Well, now. I'm glad you didn't get the five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but they they haven't changed much with the with the design really, and then it's it, it, it still works the same as the other one, except this one will shoot in two hundred forty frames per second. So motion at ten eighty p. Yeah, I'm not because you're gonna use that all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna go take food reviews. And I'm like, look at this sandwich. So can you see the gluten in that bread? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's it's a cool camera, but I'm not seeing anything different. Like, if they want to make another GoPro, they need to change everything. Well, they they need to make something to to catch the eye. The problem, like I was telling Ben, is the biggest problem with GoPros is that there is no problem with them. They're yeah. a yes. great product. Well, the GoPro Hero Two, and it, it, it actually does change from two. And up, it changes. Yeah. After two, three, four, five, and six are the ones that had the 4K, the 2K, the 60 frames per second, everything. But you no you'll notice this one thing, though. You can tell what a product is made gearing toward more of a commercial use than a consumer use. And this is more of a commercial use. Like with laptops, like for instance, my laptops and Elite Book. The Elite Books have never changed their look. They all look the same every year. Yeah. They've never changed it. The newer ones are gold. That's like the difference. Mm -hmm. That's like a rose gold. Um, but like Canons, Nikons, every single DSLR looks very closely similar. These keep a standard model because people that are really into photography don't want, they like their camera, they like how it held, they look how it feels, they, they don't want that to change. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's the same thing with GoPro. They're not going to change know. how I, it looks. I don't, yeah. I, I, they don't have to be a look change. I mean, they have to put something in there that makes me want to go, ooh, ah, let's get rid of my four and get a but six. Yeah. They know that it's not about that. It's about what quality of film, what kind of quality of shot they're giving you. Yeah, well, yeah, well, well, then, that's the thing. That's the deterrent from upgrading. Why, well, why upgrade? What's going to make me upgrade from the three to this? Well, then the, again, the 240p. Yeah. Well, then again, I'm not. You are using you the use GoPro that. to the right potential. Honestly, everyone's like GoPro is for action shots. Like I'm mm -hmm. using it for for food reviews and other stuff like that. Like I know my buddy Ken Dominic on Facebook. He does food reviews, and you do watch some of his videos yeah. too. He has like three GoPros set up in his car, and I, I sent a picture of my setup one time, and he sent me a picture of his. It's one, two, and three. He goes, yeah. "Oh yeah, I have all this set up in here." Yep. Like I'm not even using my GoPro anymore. I just take my food and. Use my Nikon. I used to bring my T3i right in my car and put it on my dash with mm. with my Video Mic Pro wow. on it, off to the side and <laughs> shoot reviews of my car with a huge bulky DSLR. But like form factor wise, GoPros are great, and I think that's like if you want to do like a body cam or a head cam, mm -hmm. you're not going to strap a DSLR in your head more than likely. Like, <laughs> so like in form factor wise, they're great for things like that. But you know, I I think obviously two unless you're probably shooting some really cinematic, I don't know, two forty FPS. You're not going to use that too often. No, unless you're shooting film like and full time. The 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 five had what? It was one twenty hertz, one twenty frames or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so, frames per second. You know, how slow do you need to go? Well, you gotta think though, like um, people doing like the body cam stuff or like catching. You definitely take a snapshot from yeah. those two forty. Catching mm -hmm. professional sports stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah. that two forty p. You're gonna have zero streaking. You're gonna get. A Perfect slow motion mm -hmm. shot, which what people yeah. want. And you got to remember, the photographers that are buying these kind of things for those slow motion shots, they're making tons of money to selling well, that they're not footage. Really, they're not really photographers, though. They're more like videographers. Who yeah, are like, but they're selling that footage for tons of money. Oh, yeah. And they're going to buy this just to do that. Mm. I just think, like I said, that with GoPro, what they are doing correct in my book is... They are making a camera that basically lasts its course. Like, like I've yeah. replaced the lens on my GoPro, and it still works perfect. And it, yeah. it, every update, yeah, it's going to be the same camera with updated uh, hardware inside. But it's not going to change me to go buy, I got to hit the Hero GoPro 5, Hero GoPro 6. It, it, it's like going from the iPhone 7 like Plus generation. to the 8 Plus. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a slight difference. So you wait a couple generations. Yeah. But also yeah. depends what you want it for, like... Maybe yeah. for you, it's like, I have no reason to upgrade. But if someone's, like, shooting, like, I don't know, like, sports or anything that's high action. Or oh, yeah. They need something to, then it depends on, like, who. Maybe they're not trying to sell to the. I don't know what the price point is going to be on this camera either. So 
four ninety nine. Yeah, so see, it's probably not something where it's like maybe it's probably not priced where everyone's gonna want to grab it. Mm. Just like when we talked about my microphone earlier, like it's a four hundred dollar microphone. Like it's like yeah, it's like not everyone's gonna want. You know, it might not be something that's in everyone's price point, and that's probably something they're trying to actually go for maybe yeah. a little bit. You know. The only thing that really big that, that I can told uh, a Bazinga here that I would want the five and six four is that the four requires a casing for any kind of splash or water if it hits it. Yeah. This one it's all waterproof directly. You mm -hmm. can throw that in the ocean, go boop, oh, got it. Yeah. And you're all set. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. the only reason why I would ever upgrade, but why pay four hundred dollars upgrade yeah. for that when I can yeah. just pop that plastic chunk. But on your there. but your your biggest reason is you want to have some kind of case that protects it so you can use the mic in it. Yeah, I mean... Because the like, mics suck. Well, the mic... Every mic on a, on a, on a camera, say, on yeah. a phone... Always an external. Yeah. Like anything. I, I mean, I would, need, I would need a case to modify on the four and cut out the side to just have the microphone uh, adapter on it just so it to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely not going to plunge in with a mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anything, you know? Yeah. But you got to think, though, GoPro's not targeting like people like you, though. Yeah, yeah. They're no, targeting... They like big consumers like networks and stuff they're like oh 240p okay i want my entire figure out team to have a ton of these we're gonna call gopro we'll get a hundred of them yeah. you know i mean? do know that sennheiser made a waterproof microphone no i didn't know that yeah because i linus did a review of it and he jumped into a, a, a pool oh that's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh it was okay, but you're not going to hear underwater. No, well, I'm not looking. Yeah, and it's <laughs> no, like, no, I know you're not looking to do yeah. that, but you're not going to hear underwater. It's still going to be like. Well, it's just, it's just like I said, it's just like an iPhone. The GoPro is always releasing another one, like six, six months or. Well, I, like probably yearly. Yeah, yearly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just want to see as much as they they're they're, they're contributing to like you like you said the consumer versus. Uh, yeah, commercial, commercial. Like, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I would like to see a new design. They have the the action one where it's a little square. And then they mm -hmm. have this one. I just I'd like to see something different. But, but is there anything specific that comes to mind? Like, yeah, like what I are you like looking for? I would like to see a, a bigger lens that covers a wider angle or expandable lenses. Like or you could change your that lens. would yes, make sense. That would, that would be cool. Like and a screw night, on lens. Night vision. Yeah. Like even phones, they have like attachable lenses for the camera. Yeah, you know? and yeah. if they put make the their lens, just detachable lenses, make something that's night vision. Well, I was gonna say, or is there any GoPros with flash? Is there any GoPros yes. with stuff like that? That's some a kind of LED light attachment yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Definitely. Or the, you know what's always about like that front screen right there? I've always felt it looks like a Game Boy every time. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that that front screen front screen is basically useless at this point because yeah. you had that back one. Mm -hmm. Unless you're using like mine, an external, uh, another uh, a sixteen, a twenty four hour battery. Mm -hmm. I have a backup one that connects into the GoPro. That covers a screen. That's the only reason I yeah, use that front is for right. use that b other battery. Or or maybe make that front screen. Use an LCD. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you right. get like a just a, f a front face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can see yourself. It just I want to see something different. I, I just, I'm all about different. I like to see new things and and, it's, and how it looks. I know, but like yeah, think about like okay, between like the what do you call it the Rebel series? Mm -hmm. Is it? Do you guys like? Bazinga, you've I'm actually. I had, I had the yeah. Yeah. I have the T6I. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just saying that you mounted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. No. Um, yeah. So you guys uh, have seen that series. Do you see any real difference between the series at all? No. It just as looks. Yeah. What yeah. the T five I the T six I physical? Yeah, no, almost no. nothing. It's mostly it's either the 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 uh, you know the megapixels are higher and but really it's the biggest thing is the, the lenses are what you're gonna spend the most money on. It's like okay, most people say like I don't know why I bought this high end model camera because I should have just bought like a lower model of that and bought like yeah, I bought nicer can, lenses yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I know? do wish I had the dual pixel autofocus. Yeah, which is pretty nice, but. You know, someday maybe I, you know, I will get a, a, a like a what do they call the uh, mirrorless or something? Or? No, no. Well, if Canon makes a a, a real mirrorless 4K, mm. that's not gonna break the bank. That yeah, that's not gonna yeah. not like a C series, which are like five thousand like uh, dollars or something like yeah. that. Yeah, um, but like. I I just I've invested in the lenses. You yeah, know, I've got yeah. like five lenses now. And I'm looking at getting the 18 to 135 eventually. Mm. I found them used on a site for 180 bucks. B and H, uh, M and P or something like that. I mean, okay. The other one, nice. whatever the other one was, which is a fantastic price. It's like a 400 dollars yeah. lens, and uh, they do make attachments. I mean, adapters or something. But yeah. like, I'd, i if they made like a, a Canon 4K with a EO, uh, the EF mount, I would upgrade if it was affordable. You know. I thought they actually had one. 
Yeah, but my, my point is like you won't see like a lot of changes no, as yeah. far only, as cameras goes. The only change that I've right ever now, seen no. with Nikon cameras from my end here is that the higher end Nikon, either they will they don't have the swivel screen, or they uh, or they or they have the swivel or they do, the or, or the, the flip screen. up. Like I don't like the flip up unless like you flip to the side. I yeah, the yeah. side is easier. Flip up, it's like for vloggers. It's like yeah, like, yeah. like hey guys. Da, 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 da. Like, also, oh. a mic on top gets in the way of that flip up screen. Yeah, that yep, too. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like the Nikon's, but the pro like, is, well, the flip the screen, like, no, it's not like the the flip screen you're talking about. It's just like the T the T six mm -hmm. versus the T six I. Yeah. Um, the problem with the Nikon's is the 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 models that you get that you have. Yeah. Use the AF mount or whatever. Yeah. And then other higher end models use a different mount. They all use different mounts when with the Canons, if it's an they EOS camera, NFX. if it's an EOS camera, it's got a, it's the EF mount. It works. Yeah. yeah. Unless you, cause that's an EOS camera, you know, yeah. so you yeah. can use it at that point. Is it really, is it more like about like getting people to buy different attachments for different models instead of, and making more revenue? Yeah. I, I'm, no, I don't know, camera. but I do, I do, I do want to get, you know, upgrade someday, but yeah, yeah, yeah. our camera is doing its job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it does very well. And I, I love the Canon. I love the Canon. 